Okay, hi guys, um, my cat, Trinity, is hella on me. I was trying to get my tripod set up and she was loving these pants. These pants are kind of like shiny and like, hold on, I'm sorry. Um, she really likes them, so my cat is here. Um, hi guys, it's been a little while since I filmed a YouTube video. Um, my last one was super, it still is not how I want it. Let's go like with right there. Um, my last YouTube video was kind of like random and kind of, I was, I've been feeling really weird and I'm feeling a whole lot better. I'm feeling so much more like myself. I think it like, I kind of hit the point where like, almost like rock bottom, but not rock bottom. It was just like a weird thing where I just kind of realized like, just be you, like stop, like just stop being weird. I've been so weird for so long and I just want to relax and be free. And I've kind of been going on like a posting frenzy like I kind of went from like taking months of breaks from everything like from social media and just feeling so weird about it and so upset about it and like uncomfortable and now I'm just like bro like just make stuff like just do stuff just be free I don't really know what happened but I'm just doing it I'm making reels I've been like suppressing myself and being like but it's weird and cringy when I make reels and it's like who even cares even if it is weird and cringy just be weird and cringy so that's where I'm at. Trinity is so freaking cute. Like, let me... Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, that was a camera malfunction. I, like, turned off my phone. I hit the weird button. But I got to show you my cat, so that was really cool. Um, but anyways, I just... Duh, just stop caring. Like, it's kind of to the point, like, I already must not care that much. Like, I dress weird, so, like, if I cared about people judging me, I probably wouldn't dress so weird. I gotta get used to people looking at me at the store, why not get used to people looking at me online? So, basically, this is kind of my calling, my message to all of you, like, just do whatever you want. Like, there's, like, you always hear it from other people, and they're like, you can really be whatever you want, and it's always like, but not me, I'm weird, and I'm strange, and awkward, and, like, there's other people that are weird and strange and awkward, but, like, I'm actually weird and strange and awkward, and it's like, cool, that's fine. Just do that. Be that. Whatever. And I already feel a whole lot better, so just be yourself. Seriously, like, I think that the main thing that's helped me to get to this point, but it's kind of been like an up and down roller coaster, is the main thing has been all of the stuff that they kind of tell you to do, but I swear to God it actually does work because you rework your brain. And it's really uncomfortable because it's boring and you feel like it's not doing anything, but after a year of doing it, I'm telling you, it does something. Um, the biggest things that I changed was I started doing um, a morning routine, which you don't even have to necessarily do in the morning, but it's just the concept of it. Um, I read the book The Miracle Morning, and it changed my life, basically. I read that last year in, like, April, so, like, almost a year ago, and it talked about the savers routine, which is... Um, what is it? Uh, silence, affirmations, visualizations, exercise, reading, and scribing, journaling. Um, you're supposed to do that every single day, um, if you can. I did it every day for like two months straight when I first read the book, and whew, I was feeling really good at that time, but I was also really like not really on social media at that time, uh, but like in terms of in real life and how I was feeling, I was feeling so freaking good and so motivated. Um, then we like had to move like kind of after that, like we moved in like October. So we got so busy that I kind of had to stop doing my little morning routine because I just didn't have time for it. And then when we moved, we were still busy unpacking and then it just kind of fell off of my like routine. And now I've kind of gotten back into doing it. I'm not like super, super consistent. Sometimes I like skip a day, but I try to at least do like, like journaling, I think is the biggest one and affirmations. Journaling and affirmations are probably the biggest thing. Like, if you can just write your thoughts down. Sorry, I have a weird burp. Um, <laughs> um, but if you can just write your thoughts down and kind of, like, work through them and stuff. And uh, it's kind of a way of, like, venting. And then affirmations, I swear to God, they work. Like, if you go into a mirror and if you're like, you're the bomb, you're the queen, you're so pretty, you're so everything, you're confident, you're radiant, you're, you're the bomb, it literally, it changes your mind. And also, I've been watching a lot of The Wizard Liz. I don't know if you guys have heard of her, um, but she does a lot of super self kind of improvement stuff. Um, and she is like the ultimate queen. So if you haven't watched her, go watch her. Um, she's definitely kind of helped to reinforce everything. Um, but anyways, that, this isn't even what the video is supposed to be about, but I'm just feeling really, really good right now because I feel like I finally let go 
and also I'm dressed up so that always helps too. Um, when I'm not dressed up I definitely feel a lot more like weird but that's because I feel most like me when I'm like this. But um, yeah, so journaling and affirmations are a super big thing and then another thing is reading. Um, I started to read like a lot of books and stuff like The Miracle Morning. I read um, Think and Grow Rich. I read that like one and a half times. I wanted to read it two times but I kind of only got halfway through it the second time. But I really, really took that one seriously. That's a super good one. Um, I also read Unshakable by Tony Robbins, which is kind of about like stocks and stuff. And so that was kind of a weird topic, but still really good like information. And then another thing that I did was listen to a ton of podcasts. And I was lucky. I worked at Walmart for like three months, two or three months. And um, Derek and I were in the middle of trying to kind of like quit our jobs and start doing NFTs. Um, I've kind of talked about, about that a little bit on my channel, not a ton, but basically I was super motivated to quit. Like I was like, holy shit, this NFT stuff is actually a way out because we were like learning a lot about it and we were like making some money, but it wasn't quite enough yet. But I was like, I want out of Walmart and out of retail so bad. And I was like a grocery picker person. So I was alone like all day during my shifts. So I wore the wireless headphones and I listened to podcasts for nine hours every day. Even like during my lunch, I listened to podcasts and I journaled and I like wrote little things. And I was like, I am determined to leave Walmart. This is just a temporary thing. I will be free. I am improving. I am confident. I am successful. And through being so determined like my co-workers probably thought I was so weird because I didn't talk to anyone and at lunch they'd be like come sit with us and I'm like no I'm working I'm journaling I'm listening to podcasts like I gotta I was like I'm getting out of here and they all thought I was weird but then I did actually get out of there so podcast journaling affirmations anything to improve yourself just freaking improve yourself um it's a big deal uh like I said I didn't even mean to talk about all this self-improvement stuff I just kind of sat down to make a video and I think it just all started flowing out because I feel so free right now and it's crazy. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so um, in other news after that whole little spiel and I hope that I can like inspire someone. If I can inspire anyone, please comment down below if I've inspired you to change your life. Like do the thing. Do the new habit. Exercise. Drink water. Eat healthier. It's a big deal. Stick to something for 30 days and you can do it forever. Um, there's still a lot of habits I have to break. But anyways, going back to like more normal stuff. I am going to be... Um, it was my birthday the other day. That's what I wanted to say. It was my birthday on the 17th and I'm 27 now. Feeling good about it. I was kind of like scared to be 27 just in terms of like time has been going by so fast ever since covid like i literally never worried about like getting older or my birthday's coming up but because of covid and because of being long distance with derek and the k1 visa process i feel like i had like three years literally stolen from me that i'm just kind of mad that like i'm getting older like i feel like life should let me rewind to being like 24 and stuff but um i don't know once it came up to my birthday and it was like a week away i was like you know what i feel good like, I can either feel shitty and I'm going to feel shitty or I can just be like, I feel good. So I'm just going to feel good and it's amazing and I can't wait for all of my birthdays because it's so weird how we think that like 30 is old and it's kind of like there's nothing wrong with being 30 or 40 or 50. My like mom and dad are like 50 and 60 and they still seem hella young, you know? So like just whatever age. Whoa. <laughs> Trinity, what are you doing? Edie. Edie. She, uh jumped up to get my brush. She loves to be brushed. Come here, Katie. Come here. Come show them how much you love to brush. Come here. Oh, and you love to brush. Yes, I brush her with my own brush because I don't care. I love her so much. I already rub my face into her and stuff and I can just clean my brush at some point. Um, but yeah, she loves to be brushed. I'll be like brushing my hair uh, in the bathroom, like while I'm getting ready for bed. And she sits there and like looks up and she's like, please brush me. And she just loves it. So yeah. Um, but anyways, it was my birthday. Um, it was pretty chill. We went on some adventures. We like drove around and tried to like go check out this like cave that was like nearby to where we lived. And it was kind of lame. We thought it would be, my camera just ran out of space. I need to delete stuff from my phone so bad. I, I deleted 8 minutes and 49 seconds worth of stuff, so hopefully I can finish this video in that amount of time. Um, but 
okay so we went on some adventures we drove around tried to go to like this cave thing there was like a weird ladder going down into it and it looked sketchy as hell and it was like really dark and we were like yeah no we're not gonna go in there um so then we drove around some more we we're gonna try to go on some kind of like nature walk because i just wanted to walk <laughs> outside somewhere cool where it's not like sidewalks but then we just ended up going home because we couldn't really find a cool spot and we were just driving and i was like i'd rather just go home um, then we pretty much just chilled at home and then we got Panda Express and it was bomb. That was my birthday. Um, and then that weekend we went to the mall. We were gonna go out to eat at like Olive Garden. We freaking love Olive Garden. There's so many people who are like, Olive Garden isn't even good. But I swear to God, it's so good. I love it. Their salad, their house salad, and the breadsticks, and the pasta. Like, I don't know what people have against it, but it's better than I can make at home. Like. If you're saying that it's bad, that means that you're saying if you came to my house and I made you pasta, you would straight up be like, this is disgusting. And I feel like that's just really rude. Like, Olive Garden is good. It's, like, I, I don't know who's making better pasta than that at home, but I am not. Um, but anyways, we're going to go at some point because we didn't end up going on the weekend because we got busy. But I ordered myself some stuff from Shein. I ordered, like, I think 100 and, I think it was 150, but then I got 30% off with, like, a code. So it was, like... 115 or something it was like somewhere around there with like the tax and the shipping and so I got a lot of stuff and I'm gonna do a big haul video when it all comes I think I got like 37 things so that's like the most stuff I've ever ordered I know that there's kind of some like questionability about Shein and how it's like fast fashion and it's not good but I haven't bought anything for myself in a long time and everyone else can buy from Shein like there's probably like someone every second of every day placing a huge order like I just wanted to place one order it's not often that I order from them uh, I don't support stuff like that I don't want to but I mean like it is really cheap clothing which is why I know it's so bad but I hope that you guys can forgive me I'm really really sorry they had some really cute stuff that I really wanted and it was in my budget so yeah we went for it so be excited for a Shein haul and um I might like stream on Twitch sometime for fun me as I say that right now because I just feel really good like I feel like I could stream right now like I could literally stop the video and be like I'm going live on Twitch because I'm just super high energy and super I'm just petting my cat I wish that you guys could see her again maybe I can show you hopefully without dropping the camera look at that oh god she's so cute she's so so snuggly that's probably not even close to in the right spot anymore but it's fine um so yeah I hope that you guys are having a great day I'm feeling really really good um I think I don't know I think good things are coming I'm also kind of getting paid from my Instagram page my reels which is so cool I got that just recently I think in like November it popped up and it was like you can get paid for reels and I kind of started like casually doing them but again I felt really like this is weird that I'm doing reels um, but it's enough. I've gotten paid like three times from them. Uh, one was for like a hundred dollars. Another was like 30. And then just this month I made another hundred dollars. So like, that's pretty good. Like, I feel like that's good over a few months to make $230. Like that's kind of more than I get paid from YouTube. I don't really post to YouTube that much. So like, I'm lucky. Usually there's like a hundred dollar threshold. Like you have to make a hundred dollars before they'll pay you. So that's why it's usually around a hundred dollars. But I think in my entire, like, 10 years of doing YouTube, I've maybe made, like, $600, $700, maybe. Maybe that much. I don't know. It's super, super small. Um, so to make, like, $230-ish in, like, a couple months, super low effort, barely trying, and I've started trying more now, it's like, whoa, this could kind of go somewhere. So it's always kind of been, like I was saying with the whole Twitch thing, like, I've always been, like, I need to do something on social media because I don't want to work a normal job. Nobody wants to work a normal job. So there's some potential for something to happen. And then again, Derek and I are doing um, NFTs and Web3 and AI stuff, which is controversial and stuff. But um, I want to start making videos about that and talking about that and how we're doing it. Um, some people will be for it, some against it, but I love AI. I'm going to put it out there. I freaking love AI. I think there's so much good stuff that it can do. I understand that people have fears, but the amount of good that it can come with, like it pretty much betters you as a person. And trust me, as someone who uses it, Derek and I use 
like chat GPT like all day every day and we've only improved ourselves like we're more efficient we're smarter we're learning more things we can be more creative it's so good I don't know whatever the fears are that's a people problem like if there's any bad people doing bad things with AI that's because they're bad people that were gonna do bad things anyways the majority of people are using it for super good things and it has a lot of good uses and Honestly, I would highly suggest at least looking into it, at least trying it, because everyone's like, but it's gonna replace my job, and that is probably to an extent true, but not that the AI itself is really gonna replace your job, but you'll be replaced by a human using AI. So, for example, say if I was gonna be a social media manager, yeah, I could use AI to write captions for people all day long that would probably be a million times better than the captions that you can write without using AI so that person's gonna hire me instead because I can do it way more efficiently and change things on like in an instant like if they don't like the post that I made I can be like it's okay click here's ten more to pick from so yeah it is super quick it is super powerful it's super amazing definitely definitely try it because it is a life changer there's so much that you can do with it you may as well be more efficient. I even use it to help me with my hashtags on Instagram. I'll like make a post and I'll go on ChatGPT and be like, hey, um, I'm posting a selfie. I'm an alt goth girl with tattoos and piercings and I'm wearing a Killstar outfit and a purple wig. Can I have 30 hashtags? And it'll give me 30 hashtags tailored for that. Boom. Don't have to do any work. So easy. That is just one example. And also using it for like recipes. You can go onto ChatGPT and be like, this is what I have in my pantry. I have spaghetti and some sauce and I have an onion and I have flour and like just put what you have in your pantry no matter how little you have or how weird of combinations you have. It will be like, sure, here's 10 recipes that you can make with your stuff that you have in your fridge and your pantries. So think about ways that you can use it. It's worth a shot. Um, I promise you it's good. As someone who has no bad intentions at all, it's done nothing but be a wonderful experience for me. So. I'll just leave it at that. Anyways, this has been a super, super weird rambly video, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will hopefully post more. Right now, it's just a question of how busy I am, which I am super, super busy, and it is like midnight right now. So if that tells you anything about how busy I am, I am here making Instagram and YouTube content at midnight. Yeah, um, so anyways, have a wonderful day, you guys. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!